Oh, lovely view of Segria Rock at the end of the swimming pool here in the hotel. Beautiful. For me. Oh, great. Thank you. Oh, lovely. Thank you. Okay, since breakfast opened at 6.30 and I'm leaving at 6.30, they made me a wee box. Don't know what's inside there. I'll find out later. Good morning, how are you? Good, good, thank you. Looks beautiful. Gonna burn off all the calories from last night's buffet dinner. Climbing up there. Look at this wee town. Dead. Hopefully everybody's sleeping. Hopefully all the tourists in these wee uh, guest houses and hotels sleeping. And not gonna beat me up to the top. I don't want to be stuck behind slow old couples walking in a single file at these narrow parts of the uh, rock, climbing up. Hi. No, I just walking, thank you. Guy's asking if you want a tuk-tuk. I figure if you're going to hike all the way to the top of that thing, you can probably walk from here to the entrance. Getting a bit sweaty already. Wouldn't mind a wee dip in here. Looks nice and cool. What's this? Refrain from bathing, crocodiles go about. I think I'll give that one a miss. Looks like I'm gonna stay sweaty for now. Who cares though? Climbing up that bloody rock, I'm gonna be pissing a sweat. White man price, 30 US dollars. How much in rupees? Fun ticket, 5,430. 5,430, okay. Seven or eight a.m. Definitely a bit late. Hey, thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Good morning. Good morning, sir. How are you? Fine. Yeah, a little bit hot. It's okay. Oh. <laughs> okay. Thank you. I need to sign or no? No. Okay. Great. Thank you. Finally, in the complex. So is this wee dog here. Hello mate, how are you doing? Doesn't seem interested at all. Right, so I'm 10 minutes after it opened and look, there's already a ton of people ahead of me. I'm gonna try and start walking faster because the uh, path that hugs around this mountain, mountain rock, uh, apparently some parts of it, single file, it's very narrow. And then basically you're walking as slow as the slowest person. So, uh, hi, you, you better to be first. So apparently this area, I'm in here, is water garden. There's have been water garden. Oh, there's, there's the man I was talking to earlier. Hello. Um, <laughs> he took the shortcut. He got in the, he got in the easy Sri Lankan entrance. He's a guide for apparently a couple of, a couple of Deutsch who are coming hey, up these steps. See, if it's like this all the way, you can get past people. It's just apparently, there's parts that single file and that would just be frustrating for me, so. See that couple? They're getting all the information, but by the time they get to the top, it's going to be packed. I'd rather just get up there, enjoy some tranquility before the Chinese arrive, and then explore these gardens and ruins and stuff. Excuse me, thank you. Hi. Thank you, bro. Hello again. Come on, Yeah, go. I'm going fast, that's why I'm sweating. <laughs> Look at this. All the way up there, around there. And this spiral, spiral staircase. There's a few people well ahead of us. Quite a lot of white faces up there. Oh wow, what a view. Isn't that lovely? Amazing. Beautiful. <sighs> Almost makes it worth sweating my arse off to get up here. <laughs> Almost. Almost. Yeah. <sighs> Hopefully getting to the top will actually make it worth Yeah, I hope so. I was trying to get to the top before the, the Chinese tourists. Apparently yeah. uh, everyone's saying by the time they come, like 8 o'clock, 9 o'clock, it's, uh, it's, it's not a nice experience. Ah. It's a big priority. Yeah. yeah. Well, that's good to know. Right, they're calling this the mirror wall. I guess the sun reflects off it when it's pointing in that direction. Looks like we're going to get another nice view here. Let's have a look. 
Oh wow. Isn't that lovely? Yeah, this, you see there's a sign about uh, not disturbing the wasps. Yes, so that I was yeah. talking to this um, like Sri Lankan guide who's down there and he was saying when the Chinese come they, they, they talk so loudly they disturb the wasps and set them off. So imagine you're climbing the steps and then all these wasps start flying at you, you know? <laughs> yeah. That's, yeah, they that's said, not ideal. Yeah. <laughs> that's a bat. That's squeaking. Alright. Oh, what a view, what a view, what a view. Look at this. I haven't even seen that far through the top. What's down here? More ruins. See, that's where you could do with a guide. Telling you what all that stuff is. It would take you like three hours to get to the top if you stopped and explained everything. By that time, swarms of Chinese taking over. Invasion. Wasp attack area. Oh, not that far to the top. Oh aye, not much longer. Be up there. Lovely. <laughs> Say we up and down, right? Yes. Okay, glad I got here early. <laughs> Don't be doing this when it's busy. Oh wow. I guess this is the original steps the monks probably would have taken. Yeah. And we've got the tourist uh, steps specially built for us. Uh, I don't know about trying those ones. <laughs> Seems a little bit dangerous. And over there is the other rock. That one, only five dollars to hike up. Oh well, so pretty much at the top. Was it worth it? Not much here, but some ruins. And I certainly no CM Reap, certainly no Anchor Watt, anything like that. There isn't much here, but was it worth the hike up? Well, for the view, aye. For the view, it certainly was worth the hike. Look at this, lovely. Absolutely lovely away from all these other white faces and just enjoy a little bit of tranquility. Can I show you this type of mechanism? So that is the reason he could dig this one and break it and dig it and make a pond. Clever. Yeah. So uh, actually those areas it is very very good. I definitely go for a swim. But now you see it is dirty now. Yeah. Maybe yeah. a bit too dirty, huh? Is the one. Yeah. So it was rock like that one. He he broke it and dig it and make one. And when we're going down there, I will show you the other things there. I mean steps and all that. A couple of these squirrels there. They're trespassing. They definitely didn't pay the five thousand four hundred rupees to get up here. Uh, I'm a bit sweaty. I don't know if I want my picture. I, I don't know if I want my picture taken. It's more of a view. You can take it from far. Yeah. Away. Can you imagine what this would have been like all those years ago? What would have been going on here? What this would have looked like? Magnificent, I reckon. I reckon this would have been something pretty special. Central bathing pool. Wow, huge. If that was the bathing pool, I reckon that looks like a swimming pool. Would they have had swimming pools back then in like the year 500 BC or whatever? What does it say? Oh, it's a pond, of course. Looks prepared, uh, correct diameters to be a swimming pool though. Ah, oh, lovely. This looks like it'd be a nice spot for me to sit and eat my breakfast before all the tourists come. Just gonna sit on this ledge. Right. Right, let's see what Hotel Segria has prepared for me. 
in this breakfast box. A little ketchup, some bananas, croissant, muffin, boiled egg, slice of pineapple, ham and cheese tomato. Oh, nice. It's very nice of them. Oh, this is nice. Well, glad I got here before the crowds. Mm. Look at this. Coming, coming to try and eat my uh, breakfast. I've already eaten most of it. Okay, he's gone. He's gone over to see them. Here he comes. No, 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 no. <laughs> Do dogs eat pineapple? I don't know. Do dogs eat pineapple? I think that dog will eat anything. Yeah, I just don't want to make him sick. Like, but uh, okay. You want to or not? Oh, oh, he's taking the plastic. Which my sandwich isn't, which I shouldn't, which I shouldn't even have up here. So, uh, okay, 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 mate. Okay, there we. Go. Ah. Okay. I don't have anything for you. Banana. I only have banana. Uh, you think you'll take it? Uh, no. no. You think it'll make him sick, right? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Where are you from? Scotland. Oh. You're from the States, yeah? Where, where is Scotland? Yeah, you know Dalkeith? Dalkeith, it's near Edinburgh, kind of. Usually I just say it Edinburgh because it's, uh, yeah, that's easy. it's easier, right? Yeah. No, I've been all over Scotland. Oh, have you? Yeah. All the way out to the Isle of Skye and oh. the Orkneys and Thurso and Wick and Inverness. Oh, you've been more places than me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but you're here, so that's good. Yeah. <laughs> no, I love Scotland. Oh, really? I'm finished, mate. Sorry. My breakfast is finished. If I knew you were going to be here, I would have brought you some doggy biscuits or something. But I didn't know. I didn't expect to see a wee dog up here on Sigre Rock. I don't even know how the heck you got up here. You took the steps or what? Hmm? Sorry, nothing left. Very, very sorry. I don't have anything in here. It's empty. I promise you it's empty. I would not lie to you. I would not lie to a wee dog. Right, had a lovely breakfast, now time to get back down. I wonder if we'll have to go back down the same way we came up. If so, that's going to be tough. Well, hopefully there's a one-way system. Sorry, no worries, going to have a wee jump down here. Oh, just a snake, no worries. Okay, another wee pond area. And that's the other big rock that's beside this place. I'm probably either going to hike tonight at sunset or tomorrow at sunrise. Ah, not that many people coming and it's been cloudy for a while so I'm not sweating as much there we go. <laughs> right so that's the way I came it looks like there's an alternative way down here so it's like a loop when you get to this stage which means no having to uh, fight against people coming in the opposite direction which is nice Right, and this used to be an audience hall and the king would have sat up there on a bench on this big boulder and people would have come to meet him and greet him and below the king's audience hall wee cave and another wee cave there below that boulder apparently that's where the monks would meditate back in the 8th and 9th century according to this It's like a scene straight out of Tomb Raider or something isn't it? Just imagine running through here through the caves, under the boulders, through these boulder arches, shooting enemies, trying to run away from enemies, doing all your Lara Croft adventuring. Oh wow, he's massive. What are you? Are you a squirrel on steroids? What are you? What kind of creature are you? You're looking at me like you're going to jump at me. I know that squirrels in my country, they run away from you. This one looks like he wants to attack me. He's following me. Okay. He wants breakfast. He wants breakfast. I'm his breakfast, maybe. Hello. 
What are you called? Look at the bloody size of you. You're huge, mate. You're bloody massive. <laughs> Check this out, it's called the Cobra Hood Cave. It does look like a bloody cobra as well, look at that. Amazing. Big bloody cobra. Really cool. Look at this. Sri Lankan tour guide speaking Japanese. What a talent. He must earn way much more money than the other tour guides. But that talent, how many Sri Lankan people would you think can speak Japanese? Not very many, I'm sure. Right, that was less than two hours. It's 9am and already it's starting to pr get pretty damn hot. The crowds are starting to come. So definitely, if anybody's thinking about coming here, get here early. Get here 7 o'clock, any later. You're facing this, you're facing the extreme heat of that beltering sun. And the crowds, definitely a 7am start required if you come here. So just coming back from Seguria Rock, where I did my wee hike. My shoes looking absolutely filthy. Look at them. The one pair of shoes that I brought with me to Sri Lanka, travelling light. What's this? Sri Lanka's favourite ice cream. Wonder Cone, Elephant House. Looks like a Cornetto. I might try that. You have any of those ice cream cones from the ice side? Cream. Yeah. Ice cream, yes. Okay, that'll be nice. How, how much is one? Ice cream, dinner, you know Ice cream. Ah, sorry. No, no ice electric cream. Power. Oh, no electric, ah. Uh, uh, no electric, no ice cream. No ice cream. <laughs> <laughs> ah, this uh, melt, melt. Ah, okay, no problem. Thank you. Okay. Ah, uh, hi. That's the problem. These uh, remote places in Sri Lanka, they're having frequent power cuts. So even if the guy does have a stock of ice cream, it's turning into milk about an hour after the power goes off. Uh, so I'm without one. Oh, that might be nice for later. Me massage. And in case you want to look like a right mug tourist, why not get yourself a pair of elephant pants or an elephant sarong and walk around and get hassled by every single tuk-tuk driver and tourist tout and scammer that sees you coming a mile away with your baggy elephant pants saying come and scare me, I'm a clueless it's my first time ever outside my own country I think I'm cool wearing my elephant pants nah, they're gonna get scammed right, see here's another Sri Lankan hotel which is actually a restaurant, they call restaurants hotels here which is confusing so Milo, that's quite nice I got a wee Milo hello can I have uh, just one of these Milo's? No. Oh, not cold? Oh, you have cold? Okay. I have that. Okay. Good, you have a cold one. Ah, thank you. How much one? Vanilla, okay. How much this? 100. 100, okay. Okay, this and this will refresh me. Okay, so I did get an ice cream cone after all, and it's solid. So obviously that place didn't have a power cut it's right beside the other place. So obviously not a village-wide power cut, just probably for that guy's shop. Anyway, an ice cold Milo and a solid vanilla fake Sri Lankan Cargill's Magic Cone Cornetto. It's going to refresh me right up. Mm. Pretty much is just a Cornetto. Nice. Good morning.